Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 10, verses 7 to 15. Jesus said to his disciples, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper from your belts, nor sack for the journey, or a second tunic, or sandals, or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it, and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. I am sure most, if not all of you, have pondered what heaven is like, myself included. And I am also sure your guess would be good as mine because we are still here on earth. With that being said, being in full communion with God in the afterlife, which heaven is ultimately, I have a hunch that none of the tasks listed in today's gospel will be required because sickness would not exist, nor death, nor social expulsion, nor evil. I don't know about you, but that sure sounds good to me. So while we are waiting for our timely encounter with God face to face, we can use our given gifts to build, to the best of our abilities, heaven here on earth, which is the missionary call of all the baptized faithful. Because it is through using our unique talents to fruition and having an openness to the Holy Spirit, which gives us purpose, meaning, and peace. Although it won't be perfect, it can be close enough that our earthly pilgrimage is over, we can hear the welcoming words of God. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Thank you for listening to today's gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and heavenly day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at marynollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marynollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.